People ask me all the time. Where do you like to eat? What's your favorite food? What's the best thing you've ever eaten? That's why we're here now. Not only to tell you what we love to eat, but we can go get it. It's the best thing in the morning. It just blew me away. It was just perfect. Breakfast is a very important meal to me. I started digging into them, and all of a sudden, my whole life was awakened anew. The best thing you could ever eat when you roll right out of bed. The conversation's over. It's time to eat. I can't think of a better way to start my day. Good eat. We're talking about the first meal of the day. It could be breakfast, it could be brunch. For me, it's stuffed French toast. Breakfast is a very important meal to me. It actually may be my favorite meal. And the best breakfast I've ever had is the stuffed French toast at Cafe 222 in San Diego. This is not any French toast. This is not just a slice of bread thrown in some egg batter and thrown in a pan. This is stuffed French toast. Not one slice, two. And it has a filling, okay? Peanut butter and banana. It's good stuff. Cafe 222. It's owned by this woman named Terrell. I think she kind of stole the idea from Elvis, you know, the bananas and the peanut butter, but she made a French toast out of it. I think I was reading an article about uh, Elvis and how he used to eat fried peanut butter, pickle, and banana sandwiches, and I thought, ooh, that sounds really good, except for the pickle. So I came up with my own version if I'd make it like French toast. I'm not a peanut butter and banana person. However, I trust Terrell. So when she says to me, Bobby, you have to try this, I eat it because she knows her game. Her game is breakfast and brunch. I'm completely flattered that Bobby Flayton likes this recipe. I'm almost embarrassed because it's so simple. Three to four fresh eggs, half a cup of half and half, about a fourth a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice, three tablespoons of nice vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon with a pinch of salt. And it's gonna be about two tablespoons of rum. We use the cheapest, crummiest rum ever. It has like a much stronger flavor. And if I bought the good stuff, look, 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 my cooks would be drinking it. Okay, now I'm gonna start building the sandwiches. They really think about the bread, they think about the batter they're using for the French toast itself. The peanut butter has to be top-notch quality. The bananas have to be perfectly ripe. The amount of time that you have it on the griddle so it gets that golden brown crust on the outside. It's incredibly enticing. I mean, it's just one of those things where like, I have to just dive into this. The conversation's over, it's time to eat. There we go. Peanut butter and banana stuffed French toast. Bobby Flay's favorite. He's kind of a mommy's boy. I think that's why he likes it. I know you want some. <laughs> Cafe 222, San Diego. It's peanut butter, it's banana, it's got a great crust on the outside. They know how to do it right, and I'm not going anywhere else. That's it.